What's up guys, Blade Master here, part of Total War Online TV, bringing you uh, round one in the New Era Tournament, one of the official tournaments run by uh, Total War Online. Uh, if you guys don't know what Total War Online is, it is um, a website that is mainly used for tournament and clan action, uh, which you guys should definitely check out and I'll put that in the description. The comments, uh, sorry, the rules are provided in the comments and um, the factions for this uh, matchup and the players are Blade Master, myself, um, and I've taken the Sassanid Empire. And uh, my opponent is St. Flammy, or S.T. Flammy, from the USSR clan. And he has taken the Jutes. So with the uh, Sassanids, I have taken a total of four Persian Brigade, each with a uh, single experience chevron. I've also brought a total of four elite Dalamite infantry behind them, each with a single experience chevron. Three Armenian Slingers, uh, one Persian Nobles General, and a couple of Persian Mounted Warriors, and a total of five Gripanwar Cataphracts behind them. So as you can see, the, uh, there is a max 8 of uh, cavalry instead of 6, for, which is the case with most tournaments right now, which is cool. I mean, it gives uh, factions like the Sassanids an increased chance in winning uh, games. Now, with the Jutes, St. Flammy has brought a total of 5 uh, triple gold herdmen, a total of 5 Nordic bows behind them, a couple of royal huskals, one uh, Nordic warlord general, and a total of 6 Nordic horse lords um, cavalry, each with a single experience chevron. So you can see the Nordic bows are starting to fire on my Persian Brigade already. Not that it, the, that it really matters, these guys won't really take much damage, but the elite Dalemite infantry for some reason are taking a ton of casualties from those Nordic bows. Uh, it seems like they're all f focus firing on one unit, which is kind of weird. Um, as for the uh, cavalry engagement, it looks like I would probably be able to get the upper hand, simply because he's brought six and I've brought eight total cavalry. Uh, for the infantry though, his Royal Huskals can lay waste to my infantry if he does right with them. Here he's charging straight in with one of his Nordic Horse Lords onto my Persian Brigade. That's fine with me, I've just set attack orders with all of my elite Dalemite infantry in the process and they're going to take a lot of ca casualties simply from uh, Precursor Javelin. So while they're pulling out, it's going to, it's going to be very hard for them to um, you know, maintain their health. Here my Persian Mounted Warriors got caught by his, uh, his uh, Nordic Horse Lords and the same thing is going on over there. Here I'm charging straight in with my Gripan Var Cataphracts onto his herdmen. He wasn't able to um, you know, charge in uh, to, uh, or counter charge. Here I've brought in one of my Persian Brigade to help support that battle. Uh, I'm going to charge into his herdmen. They are in shield wall. If you can look at the, sta the, the uh, unit screen, they are in shield wall. But once your units are spread so thin against a shock cavalry that is as cost effective as Gripan Var Cataphracts, they will not. Uh, uh, shield wall is basically useless. There's no reason to put, turn it on. If you're going to use shield wall, you have to put these units in a, uh, in a very blockish formation to increase their depth. And uh, only then and only then they will be uh, effective. I'm also bringing my elite Dalemite infantry now and my Persian Brigade just to help support the battle. Here is Nordic Horse Lords, despite getting a proper charge on my Ma Persian Mounted Warriors, um, are starting to lose now because I've brought the uh, Persian Brigade there with their 40 melee, 42 uh, melee attack or 46 melee attack uh, and 40 uh, weapon damage. They're just really, really strong units. When, uh, 47, yeah. When they're... Uh, used in a cab supporting role. No need, no reason to bring uh, you know, uh, immortals or anything like that. Just use these guys as a supporting type of unit. I'm moving my Persian Nobles General into this uh, little block here, uh, sorry, into this little cap, and then trying to uh, catch his Nordic bows. Also using one of my Persian Brigade, or Elite Dalemite Infantry for the same purpose. Here my Elite Dalemites are going to uh, hold up his herdmen. Meanwhile, I'm just going to keep charging in with my uh, Gripanwar Cataphract. So far, uh, you know, a couple of them are at full strength, but a couple of them have also routed. Uh, s uh, the same thing for this Griff one where they they destroyed that herdman, but now that he's supported with his Nordic horse lords, they're not going to do too well. Here, Persian mounted warriors killing off the rest of his uh, Nordic horse lords, who are pretty depleted at this point. Again, Griff one where cataphracts double experience chevron, but just too much, uh, you know, support with the Nordic horse lords for for them to handle. And um, but my elite Dalemite infantry have uh, managed to kill off some of his Persian bows, and my uh, Persian nobles general have also charged into his Nordic warlord. So they are going to start taking some damage, especially with the elite Dalemite infantry coming into support. <coughs> Here he's turned on headhunt with his one Nordic horse lord, which gives them unbreakable morale, which is a smart move. It means they'd be able to hold up this uh, this Persian mounted warrior, which is actually in an excellent position because it could just rear charge all of his lines. So a very smart move there by uh, by Saint Flammy, and uh, it could be the game changer. But his uh, uh, left flank or his right flank and my left flank is uh, basically. Uh, been obliterated. I've got a ton of ca uh, ton of uh, cavalry left, and meanwhile his royal huskals will take a lot of damage from uh, shock cavalry just charging into them. Here, uh, Armenian slingers surprisingly haven't done a lot of damage, 
uh, one of them has got a single experience I've run, but the other ones really haven't done too much. Usually the Armenian slingers do very, very well for me. But I was more focused on using my Griff Panwar cataphracts to their uh, full extent. So I think I just didn't aim these units at the right targets. Again, the, uh, with their high rate of fire, you need to use them at the right targets, otherwise they just waste their ammo. Uh, his herdmen here, just taking a lot of casualties from Persian Brigade uh, and elite Dalamite infantry on both sides. Uh, my Persian Nobles General, uh, because of their really high health and pretty decent armor, they are uh, not dying to these uh, Nordic bows. Meanwhile, his herdmen have, uh, have died, and I'm going to rear charge with my uh, with a really low uh, <laughs> low amount of health Persian Brigade onto this little blob here, and just maybe ca get some casual, uh, get some kills in the process. Uh, herdmen here getting another charge from my Persian nobles who've got a single experience chevron here. Uh, Persian mounted warriors have destroyed that uh, uh, Nordic horse lords over there, and now I'm just going to finish off these Nordic bows. Griff Panwar Cataphrax managing to kill off his royal huskals, and now I have I just have too many units left uh, for him to uh, you know really be able to counter. And this full strength Griff Panwar Cataphrax is going to be heading into this uh, side of the battle. His Nordic horse lords here still manage still just killing off my elite Dalamite infantry, but this is going to be the the charge that basically finishes off the match. Uh, Griff Panwar Cataphrax just completely slaughtering these royal huskals who could have just destroyed my uh, elite Dalamite infantry. Um, and now that these Royal Huskals are basically done and the, the Herdmen are done, I have too many cavalry uh, left that I can just rear charge his Nordic Horse Lords into oblivion basically and uh, his, um, his Nordic General as well, Nordic Warlord. So his Nordic Horse Lords are starting to waver and rout and so are the rest of his, uh, uh, are the rest of his army. And let's go ahead and fast forward for the rest. Yep, pretty victory to me. Uh, well played to St. Flammy for the first and second rounds, I believe, for the new era, simply because there are so many players. Uh, the first round and second round are uh, best of one, so that means I advance to the next round, and uh, St. Flammy, unfortunately, has been uh, eliminated from the tournament. I will put up the, the uh, brackets as well in, in the comment section. So taking a look at the stats, uh, Persian Brigade all around did pretty decently. A couple of them didn't do too well, but the ones that uh, did manage to get into Cavalry Blobs got 93 and 56 kills. Elite Dalamite Infantry just did, did just about okay. Uh, you can't really expect these units to do too well. Uh, the only reason I brought them was because I needed a solid, uh, you know, holding uh, force to while my Griff and my Cataphracts here charged in, etc. Uh, Armenian Stingers, one of them did well, the other ones didn't really do too much. And the Persian Mounted Warriors proving their cost effectiveness here. One of them didn't really do too much, but the other one got 204 kills, um, despite getting charged at by one of his Nordic Horse Lords. Griff and my Cataphracts all across the board did pretty decently. Uh, and I think they were the main reason why I won this game. His Nordic horse lords didn't do too much. Most of them just got caught. Uh, and the one that got a proper charge on my Persian Brigade just got slaughtered while they were uh, you know, turning around, simply from the precursor javelins from my uh, elite Dalamite infantry, which is why having a front line of Persian Brigade always works. Uh, his Nordic bows also didn't do too much, although they got a lot of kills on my uh, elite Dalamite right from the start. Uh, his herdmen did okay, and the Royal Huskals did very well considering... Um, uh, I did bring a lot of infantry, so I guess they did do pretty well. And I could have I could have charged them earlier on in the game, but despite all that, they did very well. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of this match. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the more ma for more matches in um, this tournament. Peace.